we slightly pushed back, of course, then. So rather than being forward, you can straighten your arms out and wait a little bit more weight towards the rear. And uh, still use your front brakes going down, but, you know, brake on the straight and get all your, all your, scrub all your speed off before you come to the corners. Jump on the bike, and I'll just snip up and down here and just show you the, uh, the stand up positions we're looking for. The first one I'll do will be, uh, we'll call it cruise standing, which will be more. That's what we want you to practice uh, working on it. doing really well actually and uh, I'm surprised that the the group's holding together really well. Uh, I guess after lunch we all... But the the is on mud riding. Okay. So with this group here on your safaris and your overseas trips and so forth would, would these would we be um, capable enough to do one of your trips? Uh, I, I would say at the moment looking at half the group uh, if you're talking safari uh, I would say a fair few of the group would be at this stage and I'm only going to suggest that the, the rest of you will certainly come up to speed because the safari is <laughs> being tailor-made for folks like yourselves. Uh, the safari will have uh, some challenging options in it for the guys, guys and girls who like something a little bit more challenging but they are options so safari is tailor-made for for what we're doing now and for the skills that some of you already have and some are going to get. Overseas, uh, Mongolia, you would, uh, I, I, hope, I think some of us, uh, our trail riding skills would be up to it. Uh, Mongolia, you definitely need trail riding skills. And Lao. Um, sealed roads. sealed roads are really beautiful, windy, twisty roads. Okay. Um, yeah, good stuff. Good, great. And there's always options because we, we have a group there in, in a month's time, we're up there and they're all fairly hardcore, some ex-New Zealand champs, so we've altered the route to go into the Ho Chi Minh Trail, which is, it's like jungle. It's like so I'm going back on the foot peg, slightly more towards the rear of the bike, and I'm taking a fair bit of weight off the front because the front's going to want to drop into those ruts and do that. So it's a weight transfer to the rear, uh, gripping the tank. And as you can see, it's pretty squirmy through there. And 
there's nothing wrong if you have to put your foot down now again just to catch your balance. Pick your spot, slow in and then go for it. I know, <laughs> often you've got your handlebar almost here, <laughs> yeah. and yeah. your headlight's down here, but that's the position you need to get in. I it's mean, the it whole sounds Superman crazy. thing going on, isn't okay, it? You really <laughs> are. Over Whatever we do today, um, really the, the end result is that you, hopefully you'll just keep at it because we can never, we can't give you that, the confidence of riding on gravel in the time that we have it, it's really, you just need to keep Done brilliantly. And it was really good to see this still standing up coming down the tar seal. Back to you. <laughs> One of the best countries in the whole wide world for riding motorcycles in. So, and I, and I think you know that as uh, for those who are road riders. And imagine what's out there when you get off the road. There's a whole lot more. It's all out there waiting for you. So get out there and do it. <laughs>